Okay. I just recorded this amazing podcast with podcast with Michelle McCowan Campbell and myself, Vicki Poole, where we talked about this process that we've been doing for close to three years, every single week together, and how it has really changed our lives. And so I invite you to come in and watch this podcast and get a little taste of what we're talking about. <laughs> Welcome to my podcast, Today's Dream, Tomorrow's Reality. My name is Vicki Poole. I'm a master transformational coach and hypnotist specializing in habit change. And this podcast is sponsored by the Enlightened Peach. And it's all about embracing our mosaic life. And some of you may ask, what is a mosaic life anyway? Well, it is recognizing that all the pieces of our life, the good, the bad, the indifferent, have all come together to make us who we are. Change any one thing and we are different. With that in mind, I invite you to embrace your perceived imperfections and celebrate who you are. This podcast is unedited and raw, just like life. And I'm your host and I have a very, very special guest that I'll introduce in just a moment. But I would love to ask you to do me a solid. And that means leave a comment, ask a question, like, subscribe, and share. So now... Let's get started. So this lovely lady is my majorly good friend, Michelle. And we are here today to talk on this 100th episode. Yay! All about this process that she and I have been doing for, what is it, two and a half years? Something yeah, like that? Or is it be. closer to three? I think it might I be really closer to three. I feel like it's closer to three. It feels yeah. like... A I lifetime so. in the best of ways. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the interesting thing is we really wanted to get on here and share about this. And she and I are writing a book about it. So everything's amazing. Um, but this is a process that actually, and I don't even know how I had the idea, but I reached out to a few other people to do this process with me because I just felt like it was going to be something that would be beneficial to me. And everybody I ask. You, it's like they could get the gist of it or they weren't interested. And one lady, she got the gist of it. But when we were doing it, it was like we're 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 staying in character of the the person that gets all these amazing things that were are our goals. And she would finish and she would say, oh, but that's not real life. That's not the truth. That's not this. And so it would just deflate everything. And so when I talked to Michelle about it, Michelle said, let's try it. And she and I met in, a, in an amazing group. And I don't know how we ended up connecting so well, but we did in this group. We were one of a whole bunch of people in there. And um, we just connected and we've stayed connected ever since then. And we started this process together. And it has been um, life-changing, really. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. I would agree. Yeah. 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 And I don't remember how we met. I know where we met. Yeah. In that that global community. I don't know how we then ended up on a call or even ended up talking about this. And I feel I like either. your <laughs> listeners at the moment are like, well, what are they talking about? What is this thing? <laughs> this huge secret yeah, um, because yeah. it really was and we will know I know you're going to explain in a minute about what it is that we've been doing but it has been life-changing mm -hmm. it really has yeah, um, yeah and like I say I think we have been doing this for about two and a half three years but it feels like it's a lifetime of transition in the in the very best of ways yes yes so I think um although it's been uh, right at three years, I believe, because I, I know um, it was before I moved in where I'm at, right? And I've been here yes. two and a half years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Goodness. So, so it might be even closer to three and a half years. It might be. Yeah. And so, but it we've changed and the process has changed. It's morphed into doing different things. And, um, and so to me, it's like you and I do we're both coaches and everything, but we do things that are similar yet very, very different. And so we inspire each other all the time. And what's cool to me is that as we do this process, that what we'll do in the beginning is we'll talk about, you know, what's going on for us. 
And, and then we're, we're, we're brutally honest, you know, this is what's going on. This is where I'm, where I'm needing a little bit of help. And then if the other one can help, we help. And so we're all the time helping each other in that way. And then it's like, okay, you ready to do this thing now? And then we just fall into the practice. And, um, and that's why we, not too long ago, um, we were talking after we had finished and that's when we decided that we needed to write a book, right? Um, yeah. To share this with others. And so now we actually have a, a cabin already um, reserved in September. We're going to be sitting in this cabin for four days and well, not necessarily sitting, there's hiking <laughs> trails, there's all kinds of things that we can indulge in, but we're really there to write all of this out. And we've been journaling and doing everything to share as much of the process as possible with everyone. And um, so before we go any further, you know, um, some of the people that are listening know me because um, I'm the host, of course, of uh, Today's Dream, Tomorrow's Reality. And maybe they've heard you on the podcast before, but maybe they haven't. If you don't mind, just kind of give them a little bit of idea and a little taste of who you are and what you do. Yeah, my name's Michelle McCone Campbell. Hello to each and every one of your listeners and your viewers. It's lovely to see you um, here. I am a coach. I have my own framework, Activate the Awesome. And so I truly believe that each and every one of us has a tapestry of awesomeness. We just need to know how to activate it and access it. So that may be on an individual basis. That may be as part of a team. So if you know your individual awesomeness, you work to that, but can you imagine the awesomeness that is created as we come together um, and work as a team? So I work with um, organizations to really activate that awesomeness, provide you know, and create the most successful future, be it service orientated. Um, I've worked with graduates. I've worked with teens. Um, I have a creative process that gathers the undeniable proof of our awesomeness. And so it's just phenomenal. We can talk to people about that awesomeness. And you and I, we've had this conversation many times. You get given a compliment and we go, yes, thank you. Great. And then mm -hmm. before you've left that space, you've dropped it. Right, so, right. So um, I take my time. Or you def deflect it. Oh, you deflect it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I take my, t my clients on a journey to gather the undeniable proof of their awesomeness, a journey that continues um, after I've been with them for the period of time through the program, it will continue. And then there are check-ins thereafter. Um, and it grows with the individual and the team so that they can truly activate on a day by day, minute by minute basis in the simplest of ways. And I think that's what I love about, you know, the work we both do. It's very similar. It's about tapping into potential. Mm -hmm. and unlocking true potential that's already within us um, and that's what I, I've loved about um, this method that we've been following together week on week it is a tool that is easily implemented into life right and we've proved it by doing it week on week and yeah. it being enjoyable not a you know when we when you sign up to go to the gym and you have to go through those many 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 months of uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not that this has right. been a joyous opportunity to connect on a week by week basis and and implement a new uh tool to create the most successful future and yeah. it kind of sits hand in hand with the work we're both already doing yeah yeah and you know um one of the things that i think is makes it even more valuable is that for one thing we're dedicated to it we hardly ever miss only if there's some extenuating circumstances but in the beginning we met twice a week yes and then it was like well we realized that we were creating so much in our lives that the two two times a week was a little harder to schedule so then we started um doing once a week mm -hmm. and so we connect on the phone now in the beginning we we worked on doing it on zoom and i actually have a recording of that first Zoom. At least I'm not sure if it's the first one, but I found the recording. It's a very early one, yes. Yeah, very early, yes. Um, so we'll probably share that as a link with the book. You know, here, go to this link and you can see our very first one. And um, and then we can give them the link to this to see how things have changed. But it's 
Um, it's a, it's, it's so amazing to me that we have gotten so much out of it, that we've continued this process. We've continued this connection. Cause you know, if it hadn't been making any difference in our lives, would we still be doing this today? No, no. Yeah. Um, and it is such a, a simple thing. However, we both know that sometimes the simple things are sometimes the things that people don't do because they're so simple. It's like, how could that be make a difference? How could that be anything, right? And so we we end up, you know, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about it. But you and I are living proof that um, that it has definitely been a major a major factor in our lives because, like we were talking before we got on here, it's not just that things have improved in our lives, which they have, but it's like. By doing this process, we not only have been drawing more synchronicities, more people and all those things, but the thing is, if you're the right vibration, you're bringing that stuff to you all the time. However, a lot of times we're not aware of it, right? We we just kind of let it go or, you know, that's that's just a coincidence. And we don't recognize the value of what's, what's happening. And I think us doing this process, we've become ultra aware of how things are developing around us don't you agree yeah no I absolutely agree and it's it's brought clarity to the things that we want in our world mm -hmm. and we've seen um we've seen that really evolve now when we started this the things that we were talking we wanted in our world now and it, it, usually it's more time more money you know right. more success more visibility you know those things actually what we we took you know not so long into those conversations we started talking about you know the service that we were providing the impact that we were making the lives that we were changing and then there's that recognition that actually talking about wealth it wasn't about the dollar signs it was right. about the impact i think that has been the biggest realization and then obviously understanding that sometimes when we want more time we have to slow ourselves down mm -hmm. and often we have been talking about having that ability to slow ourselves right down to create more space and and more access to do what we really love to do right. so it's just been constantly tapping into the you know what's really in our hearts mm -hmm. you know, what is it that we are and you know, what's our true purpose um and and what is you know it's not just what the outside world tells us we're meant to be doing right that's right. how the trust I don't I think for you as well you know we started off with a whole list of gotta do's yeah <laughs> gotta do this for our business and we've got to do that and we've got a niche and we've got to do this post and and actually um our whole businesses have, have changed to a, a much more um inner right it has a, has a rhythm and flow to it, it now. It really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that doesn't mean we sit back and we um, have, take the Zen pose and we just wait for things to fall out of the sky. No, no, no. It that means that, that, that doesn't yeah, <laughs> no, it doesn't. And, but, you know, there are people that are waiting for that. And yeah. so this is not that kind of process. This is not yeah. that kind of process at all. It actually, it helps you to take inspired action. It helps you to recognize where your gifts and talents are and what you want to do with them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have going through this process had enables you to unlock what needs to be done next. Mm -hmm. And so we've all you know many of us, many of your listeners have heard that, you know, the mind does not know what's true and what's not. Many of us know about, if I say the word visualization, uh, we know what that is, theoretically, yeah. we know what that is. And some of us are doing it, you know, through our meditation practice or, you know, our own practices. But actually getting, being able to shift your mindset to a place where it, you, you see it, believe it, and then you know what you need to do to achieve it. And mm -hmm. I know that that's a famous quote. I uh, know it, I know it because I've heard Oprah Winfrey say it a million times, but I think it's back before that, even thinking grow yeah. rich, I think it's in there. Yeah. Um, but this is a um, 
process, a tool that puts us into that space of thinking it, you know, believing it, and then achieving it. And that's yeah. what's changed for us. It's yeah. a practical way to approach that methodology. Yeah. And we can read it in a book, Think and Grow Rich, read it in the book and it will tell us. But you can't help, and I've read that book, you know, that book and The Science of Getting Rich many, many times. You can't help but go in and still think, but how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This methodology that we're going to be writing about is the how. Yeah, yeah. Which is which has been mind-blowing for me. Mm-hmm. And so often when we take on, um, or when I've taken on a new tool, a new practice, and I say that because there are so many out there, yeah. you have to find the one that works for you. right. Um, I have not been able to keep up with it. It's a new habit that you have to create. And so, you know, you might do it for a few weeks, might be really great and do it for a few months if you're lucky, or you might do it for a few days. And then before you know it, it's dropped. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we've been able to continue to do this, and that's, I I truly see it as the how to all of those books, all of that intellectual like knowledge that made sense to me. Mm -hmm. I still didn't know how to implement it. Yeah. Yeah. This has done that. And I think that's why we got so excited, like after all these years. And I think it just says something that we can't even remember how long we've been doing this. <laughs> I know. Because, because it's just so easy. It's yeah. just part yeah. of our, our world now. Yeah. And I think the other thing, we're, you know, and not, do you remember the, when we had that conversation about how come other people aren't talking about this? We've never heard it. We've done, you know, we've done so many webinars and trainings and conferences and coaching, and this has never come up before. Yeah, yeah. So that's when we recognized that it was so special and that we needed to write about it. Yeah. Um, but just it's for anybody listening right now, it's the how to all of those books you've been reading. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Simple I agree. How. Yeah. And, and, you know, one of the things that I want to touch on too, is like, we do this on a phone call, right? Yeah. Um, and we're doing other things. Like I'm getting ready. Sometimes Michelle's yes. on a walk, you know, <laughs> sometimes I'm on a walk. So it's not like you're, you're tied into this one space. You know, you, you can do it from anywhere. Um, we live in different States. We yes. don't live close to one another. And as a matter of fact, you know, we're going to still be doing our calls. She's going to be going to the UK um, next month, um, I think it is. And so um, the the thing is, is that you can do this with anybody all over the world and it's very easy to do. But one of the things to me that I, I, I want to say is that we both have gotten over time so good at um, being excited in the moment when we're doing this process and you can hear it in our voices. So it's not like, you know, a lot of people, when they're saying their affirmations, they just say their affirmation, right? And that doesn't work by itself. You have to have the feeling and the belief and you have to, you have to, you have to want it. Right. And I think that's one of the things that this process has helped us to do too, is, because when you're calling your best friend and you're saying, you're not going to believe I just saw the best movie. You're not going to call them and say, oh, you're not going to believe this. I just saw the best movie and it's called this. And, and you nothing. No, you're going to have that inflection in your voice. You're going to have that excitement in your voice. I just saw the best movie. This is what it's about. And you've got to go see it. You know, that's a very different thing than people do with a lot of their affirmations. Right. And I think that's one of the things that really um, helps us as we're doing this, because we get into that, you're not going to believe this kind of feel, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the key, isn't it? So the first thing, see, you've got to see what you want. Mm -hmm. Some of us have an idea of what we want. And yet the moment we write it down or we say it out loud, we've already discounted half of that. That Mm -hmm. is not being true or possible. Right. How dare we think so big? You know, this is about thinking big. And and you, you know the conversations we've had where we've said, dang, I should have asked for more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did I limit myself? But it's, yeah. that's the process of, of yeah. getting used to this. 
so you no know, the first and foremost is is really connecting in at, with what we truly want like what our heart's desire truly is yeah but then and you, you know a lot of people it. have a hard time getting to that place yes you know um and so we will probably have to create some part of the process that helps them to dive into that in the book right um yeah. and so this is really good for us to make sure we're filling in all the dots yeah. And so the thing is, is that if, you know, if you're not sure of what your passion is, if you're not sure of what it is that you're really wanting to accomplish, like Michelle just said, that's the first step. And it's the same as like I was sharing this morning on my live, you know, you can't, you get, can't go to your destination if you don't know where you are. You call the Uber, they have to come pick you up. You have to let them know where you are. And then when you get in the car, they say, where do you want to go? Of course, these days you've already put it in there. But if you didn't have a destination, you would just sit in the driveway, right? There would yeah. be no way to get to where you want to go. And so this is um, not only helping you to see what your purpose is. Let's see where you are. And then this process that we do just beautifully fills in that gap and between those places so that it it comes and it's not one of those it's not instantaneous of course I feel like we've done quantum leaps in this time um and so it may be they'll have quantum leaps too but it was just I just wanted to uh, to point that out really quick you know that if somebody's watching or listening and they say well I don't really know what I want well that's okay that's fantastic because we didn't know what we were doing when we first started this. Yeah, yeah. And it developed. Um, and I think that's, again, the beauty of this approach is everybody could do it. It's for anybody. Mm -hmm. You just need, you know, two people. I think we need, you know, two, two or more, not know a small group of you, but or definitely two people because we've been doing it, just the two of us. Yeah. Um, just being open to imagine and you know with all doors open and and go with whatever go comes at the moment in the moment because this is not something where we turn up rehearsed you know having done any home homework right the only question we ask ourselves when we you know when we get to doing this this um this practice is do you want to go first or do you want to go first <laughs> that's right <laughs> That is true. That is true. Yeah, and we go with what comes up as yeah. like, in our intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's stuff going on in our worlds and there may be consistency on a week by week basis, maybe. But I think I, for me, myself, like we literally flow with each other. Mm -hmm. Usually there's kind of a, um, oh my goodness, that I was going to tell you about that too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that yeah. happens an awful lot. So there, you, there's no experience, there's no expertise that, you know, just come as you are to this practice. Mm -hmm. And literally, like you say, doing whatever you're doing at the moment, you could be doing your cleaning, you could be doing your cooking while you're having this conversation. Uh, you could be walking the dog, you could be running, you like literally everything's possible. If you can do your mascara and your lippy halfway <laughs> through our conversation, <laughs> which so often we have done, bear with yeah. me, I'm just going to get my coffee. Yeah. And, and the other thing to say is this is a, a conversation that we have done over a 15 minute because, oh my goodness, we've got a client to register mm -hmm. or we have been on the call for an hour. It's just whatever yeah. needs to be done that particular day. But just going back to what you were saying about the feeling piece, that is the key. This is a feeling universe. We have to feel it with our whole being. And I was having a conversation with um, a friend the other day where we were saying, you know, it's I, I've been to see inside. Is it inside out? Inside out too. Oh, okay. It's all about. I want, I want to see the two, the second yeah. one. I haven't seen it. It's a bit of a, um, it's like going to therapy <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of other people. Um, <laughs> but it talks about emotions. It's about feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I think so often we, we um, intelligent, we say the words, like you say with affirmations, we say the words, we don't necessarily feel it with our whole being because, you know, that little niggle that, tells us that oh don't be crazy yeah, oh, yeah. this isn't somebody work. might be watching exactly all of that stuff <laughs> yeah. so this is about 
doing a practice where you just let that go and you just feel that, hey, the world is what it is. That's is. I've said it's this and so it is. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's what's been really fun because then when we come off the call, even finishing the call, first and foremost, I'm not sure what's been real and what's been not in the most (laughs) magical way. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Because of how we've gone through this process. So, and and that's what life is about, you know, how much of it is real and how much isn't, you know, let's, let's create the world we want to live in. That's when life gets really exciting. So you come off the call in the space of it is done. Therefore, what do I need to do now? So you approach your day completely differently. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone and have that conversation. You might dress differently. Yeah. Put my hands up occasionally. I've been in my gym jams when we've done our call. So maybe I, I come off the call and because of my mindset and how I'm feeling, I go put makeup on that I wouldn't normally put on and, and just show up in a much, in a completely different way, mm-hmm. but me, right? like the best version of me. Yeah. Because I'm feeling it, like what we've talked about on our call is done. There's yeah. no question Mm -hmm. just is and then months later we've been oh my goodness yeah this happened do you remember when I said to you about oh my goodness I was panicking because um I didn't have huge amounts of work I think it was last year didn't have um work through the summer period and then I had to stop myself as you reminded me that I talked about like six months prior to that that I wanted to take the summer off with my son yeah and here I was in a place where my work was going down to enable me to go and take the summer off and do exactly what I'd asked for. Yeah. You know? But in the moment, I couldn't remember that conversation. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I, I, I think we kind of need to figure out a way to start recording these uh, these conversations that we have. That would be that would be beautiful too. Yeah. Um, because you know, it is. It has definitely been uh, such an amazing process and, you know, we're getting to know each other totally differently. Um, But it's like when we get on this call, it's like as soon as we connect, it's like everything's brighter. You know, we're we're now in this vibrational place that just feels better. And even though we might have been in a good place before we got on the call, it just kind of boosted. So I kind of like to say it's this um, the way I look at it is like, you know, when you've got a um, the power in the house and then you put this booster on there. So all the lights are suddenly brighter and everything. Yes. It kind of feels that way because it throws us into this amazing place of connection to where we have these conversations with this process that just, I don't know, it just, to me, it makes the world and the the day feel so delicious. You know, things that we don't even think are possibilities, we help each other to see. Um, Because, you know, um, there's times that you have felt a certain way and I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then you do the same for me. And so it's, 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 it's a beautiful uh, thing. It's almost like we've been coaching each other for years with this process, right? Yeah, it has. It's been an absolute journey and just having that. Yeah, it, it is. It's like a light bulb going on and the world being in multicolor, mm-hmm. multicolor and multidimensional. Yeah. Because it's not just we've not we've talked about the everyday. We've talked. I think I would say we've covered pretty much all aspects of life. Yeah, Our lives, nature. We've had conversations, and it is. It's a conversation that we've been having week on week that has shifted our mindset and moved us forward each and every time. In the the just the most um, uncomplicated, simple, easy way like I, I I don't know anything else that's been that easy yeah yeah really and day one. One. that's right and you know the um the thing that is amazing to me is you know that old thing you know what when the student is ready their teacher will come right yeah so I think as we've gone through this process the I know for me and I'm I'm sure for you too but I'll just share for me I have had this amazing experience of just out of the blue, there would be somebody that would pop up um, 
and from like, for instance, I had this one coach that was very amazing for me. And only way I connected with him was because I connected with a different coach. And then they had a program that I thought, I don't know, can I afford that? Is that really what I need? And then this coach shows up and says, this is what I got. And I said, that's what I need. And so I hired that coach and I started my podcast, you know, whereas if I hadn't started the podcast, you know, I don't know where things would be because one of the things that we had talked about in our process was that I wanted to be able to have a voice more. I wanted to be more visible. I wanted to do these things. And so suddenly the person that put me into the connection with the podcast, Stacey Lauren, she showed up in my life. And then, you know, um, she ended up being a catalyst for getting into these other groups and having connections with these different people. And then all of the different people I've had on my podcast were amazing connections. And I really, be honest with you, I think without us doing this process, I probably would not have stumbled on, if you want to get that term, that phrase, on these people in the same way that I did because we had been doing this process with us talking about how we wanted to be different in our lives and how we wanted to affect the world. And that's what brought all that stuff to where I could connect with it. Now, they may have shown up, but I probably wouldn't have been ready for it. I probably would have not have noticed it or I would have just said, well, you know, that looks too hard and I just wouldn't have done it. Right. Yeah, no, so absolutely. It opens it up. It completely opens it up because it puts us into a, that place of feeling like what we've asked for is done. Yeah. Therefore, we are more open to when something shows itself not being, it, it feels familiar. Mm hmm. Like, you know? like I, I think all the time when deja vu happens, I think, okay, that's it. Was that, was that in my, was that what we talked about? You know, that's exactly it. It's yeah. creating that deja vu that, or that, because we, you know, it's developed over time. When we were first doing that, we had to kind of remind each other of when, when we've said something mm -hmm. um, and why, you know, when we've said, oh, you're never going to believe this, such and such happened. And I've been like, wait there a minute, Vicky. Um, <laughs> we talked about that a month ago and yeah. that's actually happened. Wow. Yeah, like that, yeah. that, and you've done yeah. the same for me. Yeah. Um, so that's- Celebrate it, but don't like, be surprised. Exactly. We should never be surprised because like, and now we're, and we're not less surprised. It's, it's done from a place even more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just no doubt, like mm -hmm. absolute faith. Yeah. Say what we say and go through it. it. We do it with absolute faith. Whereas I think when we, when, when you start out on any journey, there is that little question mark. Is this real? Like, it, is it really? And so you start gathering the proof, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think because we've been doing it for so long that we it moves us into this magical place of saying it, having complete faith, and then getting really excited when things start falling into place. Yeah. You no know, conversations happen. You no, know, and it, it's it's not always the big things in life. It's you no. Know, the little everyday things. Mm -hmm. you know, when you dream and you dream without limitation. So when we've talked about, you know, we're going to write a book or we're going to, when you first started talking about your podcast, yeah. you know, um, about it being done and how it was going to be and who was going to be showing up. And now years later, oh my goodness, like it's all happened. Yeah. yeah. I, I have to go on a wait list to get on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm really close to you. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, no, that's how this is developed. Like, that's so exciting. Mm -hmm. So nothing, you know, going through this process, doing this process on a week-by-week -week basis is a real opportunity. And I think what I really love about it, to think, and that's not always big money, big. I mean, just like, if, and I've got this written up on my board right in front of me. Like, if I had no fear, what would I do today? That's the conversation that we have. Mm -hmm. you know? And we talk about it in a way that it already has happened. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I can't think of any other space where you can have that conversation and somebody not go, what? 
Like, yeah, yeah. Like I said, that the person that I tried to do this with um, before I talked to you, and it had been a while since I, I tried this with her, and she would fall into it. We would do it really well. And then as soon as we would finish the process, instead of saying, well, that was great, you know, see you next week or whatever, she'd say, but you know, that's not true. And this is what's really going on in my life. Yeah. And, and I said, you're not understanding how to do this. You know, we, that's not what we want to do. You're negating everything you just said, but she, for whatever reason, she could not grasp it. And yeah. so I feel like it was so that I would still be searching for that person when you and I met and it's like, I think I'm going to ask her, let's see what happens. Yeah. But, you know, so, and you and I have connected with it in a major way. And I think, you know, it's, it's not a process that everybody's going to do and everybody's going to love because not everybody's ready. Yeah. You have to be ready to be open to absolute possibility. Mm -hmm. You have to be childlike about this. Yeah. So if we imagine children, they, they imagine, and there are no like limits to that imagination um, and what's possible. Right. And they don't imagine and play all this stuff. And then they look at each other and say, but that's not real. You know, No, I, they just know the day. Yeah. They know it's real. Yes. You know, there's a difference, right? Yes. They know it's real. It's they real know it's for real. them while they're doing it. Right. And that's the way it is for us. It is real. It's real. It, we yes. even get, I know for me, there's lots of times when we'll start talking about certain things and I'll get that excitement, that yes. giddiness. It's like, oh my gosh, oh, I can't absolutely. believe it's and, real. you know, so it's, it's just as real as this cup is right here for me when, when we're doing this. Yeah. Well, they say that, you know, I've got goosebumps because it is about that. It's about yeah. you know, feeling like having the goosebumps, you know, feeling excited uh, and coming away, like literally grinning from ear to ear. Yeah. That's what it does um, every time we do this. And, you know, they, we all, I, I, I would assume that your all your listeners know that the, we've got here this the place that we're at right now the people that are listening and, and watching right now us here we all got here because of what we've done in the past right okay and there are methodologies to enable us to go back to talk to our younger selves and have conversations and and, and do the work back in our past but we can mm-hmm. also do that for our future yeah and what we're doing is we are creating our future by stepping into that world, the magic of that, seeing it as we want it to be, and then making it happen. So it's that stepping forward, seeing it, getting excited about what's coming up, but then coming back to the present moment and doing what needs to be done. Yeah. Because we're feeling it in a way that, of course, that's happening, like yeah. total faith. Yeah, it's almost like to me, it's like you're you're all of a sudden you you do all of this and it's almost like this letter arrives in the mail and you open this letter and it says, you know, the thing that you were just talking about you wanted to do, these are the next steps. Yes. To you me, can it see feels them like that afterwards. Way. Yeah. Yes. It's like couldn't this, see them it, before. Yeah. It just arrives and there you are. And so intuitively you just know this is the next thing I need to do. And sometimes it's the simplest thing is I think I'm gonna I think I just want to go to the grocery store and you end up running into someone that helps you with something, or maybe I want to make this phone call, or maybe it's just time for me to sit and relax and um, do a meditation. Maybe I just need to play. And, um, and, and and like one of the things that I've been doing recently, and this is uh, a lot of people may not think this is amazing, but it is to me is I used to love when I was a kid, I love putting puzzles together. I loved it. And I hadn't done it in such a long time. And I mentioned to my daughter that, and this is before Christmas, that I would love to put a puzzle together. And so I was looking at puzzles and everything, but I didn't get anything. So for Christmas, she gave me a puzzle and one of those thousand pieces uh-huh. And so I did all these different things to get the right size table, to get all this. And so I have a table set up. And when I just feel like, ah, I don't know, I feel good, but I don't know that I have any inspired action about me right now. So I think I'm going to do this and I will sit and put the puzzle together, but I disconnect from the picture. 
I look at the puzzle pieces and I look at the colors and I just start connecting pieces and in a calm way, all the pieces just start flowing together, right? And so I feel that that's what this does for us is it gives us this calm space where, you know, I don't really feel like I need to do anything right now, but let me just take some time to look at these pieces of my life. And then suddenly it's like, oh, I can do this and I can do this and I can do this. And then before you know it, your picture's all together, right? Mm -hmm. It's just um, such a an easy, like we were saying, an easy, relaxed process that's exciting and fun, but there's no sense of, I have to do this at all, ever. You know, when we get on the phone, it's, I've never this whole time ever thought, oh, I got to do this with Michelle. <laughs> never. It's like, it's a conversation. It, is, it, two is, it is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Well, we do have that moment where we're like, oh my goodness, I missed time. Yeah, that is true. That's true. <laughs> but we still always do it not like, oh my God, there's no rush and it's not in that yeah. masculine kind of space of I've got to I've got to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that at all. There's just such an ease and a flow in it. I love the fact that you say you no, know, it's a conversation that we're having each week that just simply changes has changed how we approach everything yeah that yeah. that's simply it yeah you know it's just a very simple tool that has changed everything and and moved us into and keeps us into that in that magical space of um of life yeah yeah it is a magical way to just not only see the possibilities in life, but make them true. Yes. And yeah. with that, I have to say, Vicky, because we haven't actually told your listeners what it is, yeah. but we will. If And I would say to our, your listeners, if you want to know more, reach out to us because yeah. you've heard what it's done for us. If you want to know what the, the, the method, methodology is the practice is if you want to learn that then reach out to us we're going to be talking about it more in the book but reach out so that because more people need to know about this yeah definitely the and, day feels and, like we just needed to share with you what difference it made to I us I know I know we were just too excited we didn't want to keep it to ourselves anymore uh -huh. so it started feeling like wow this has made such a big difference why are we not telling other people, you know? Um, so I, I, I love that you said that. And, you know, so I want to tell everybody that the book is coming um, and we're going to be um, actually writing the book in September. So we'll see how quick it actually gets out to you guys. But we may have like little bits and pieces that we will we will share, but it's powerful, powerful stuff. And so right now with sharing it right here, I don't think it would do anybody that's watching or listening justice for us to describe it. I don't think it would at all. And so just know that there is something that we do that would change your life drastically and how you show up in the world every single day. And so um, definitely keep a watch out and we'll keep you posted as, as things come. Yeah, fantastic. Yes, 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 and yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to leave you guys with my favorite quote. And I have said, I think somebody told me Lincoln said it, but I don't know. I, I keep saying I'm going to, I got to look it up and see. The best way to predict the future is create it. With that, you can rest assured that we'll be helping you to create a magnificent future if you allow us. Mwah. <laughs>